one thing I want to mention is um, when your painting is wet and you've just put in your color, um, it's always going to dry a little bit darker. So be aware of that. You may want to charge your color a little bit. Um, I've just blown this dry and I'm looking and we're kind of in middle value and I need to punch up some of the color and I need to add in my crevice flesh colors. Now my crevice flesh colors, you may be wondering what that is. Uh, I use the same colors that I've been using all along, but I'm going to uh, use them with very little water and they will go in the darkest dark areas. The, um, the corners of the mouth, the nostrils, the corners of the eyes, uh, the lid creases, the ear holes, um, all the areas that are recessed. And then they will get a crevice dark, which is generally a purple. Uh, most of the time I use French Ultramarine and Alizarin Crimson. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and with my number six legend, I'm going to mix up some very strong Windsor yellow and uh, normally on a small smaller painting I would be using a number two for this but this is a much larger painting it's a full sheet so I'm going to be using a six to put in some of my details um, another thing about laying in the crevice flesh is that uh, when you put it in dry, a little bit drier, uh, it stays where it's supposed to stay when you soften it. So uh, you want to work a little drier in the detailed areas. It has to be wet enough that you can pull it into other sections, uh, but it needs to be dry enough that it's going to stay where you put it. So now I'm going to just go right along this edge here and soften the bottom side of it. This is also helping me um, define some of the details that are easily lost if you don't get them in early on. and I'm putting some stronger color in the labanol fold or the laugh lines and the flare, uh, the bottom flare of the nostril. It's, there's a lot of strong color in that area. And it's a little more lit under this nostril and I'm pushing that paint back out and I'm able to lighten it that way. Just using the tip of my Sable Legend. I'm gonna add a little bit more color and on this side for the laugh line. And I'm going to move to a number, I'm going to use a two to go ahead and put in the corners of the mouth and the darker areas of the mouth. So this little section is going to receive a strong shadow purple. And then I'm going to go in and around the little small crevice areas around the teeth and then go back with my opera rose and this is just getting in those little details uh, can really start 
to help your painting look like the subject by getting those areas established. And then I can soften it if I need to and it'll stay. And I didn't paint this section here because this section is lighter. So you need to look for your edges and what they do. If they're lost, that's kind of a lost edge. So it makes for a nice painting to have variation of edges. This is very strong up on the top of the flare of the nostril. So I'll go ahead and put that flesh color in and pull it down. And let's move on to the uh, creases of the lids and the corners of the eyes. Same color. I'm going to pull this down and go right over it. That was Windsor Yellow with Opera Rose. So let's soften that edge a bit. And We'll darken this side as well. And now soften. And there's a nice little shape here right beside the bridge of the nose where it meets the glasses and comes down. So I'll need to get a crevice flesh in there so that I can put in my dark later on. This also just gives you some direction now to soften a, a small area like that, I can get up on the tip of my brush and add a little water and it'll allow that to stay right where I want it. I'm not encouraging it to move out by applying a lot of water around it. I'm encouraging it to stay in place but have a soft edge. So with that being said, I want to move on to the ear crevices and um, there's some nice folds here that I need to get in my flesh so that I can use the shadow later. And that ear is going to push back and separate from the face when I get my shadow color in. And just pull this right down. And I'm softening my edges. A lot of strong color. Now, I want to add a good amount of color uh, in the shadow on this right side as well. And I'm thinking, uh, this, is, this is, when I look at my painting, I'm thinking on getting that flesh in there so that I can strengthen it up later with my shadow. These are the dark areas that I'm adding the flesh into, the really strong flesh. And the glasses are a little lighter in this area, so I'm painting around them, avoiding that um, area. Now I want this to move out. 
So I'm adding a good amount of water. And I don't want too hard an edge here, so I'm going, taking the tip of my brush here again and softening it. Uh, let's go ahead, if that's not too wet, and go ahead and put in our strong flesh on this side of the face. It needs to come on down and be darker there. And there's a lot of flesh in this area. I can soften with a lighter uh, value of opera rose here. And kind of avoiding the lighter areas. Um, preparing the darks for um, the purple shadow that they will receive. And this section is dry, so I want to go ahead and add some color to the lips, beginning with my Windsor Yellow again. And I'm going to drag this down into the uh, gum line. Then go back over it with my Opera Rose. And then the thing about teeth is you want to kind of understate them. You don't need to paint every single line in between each tooth. Uh, they need to be understated. They're better, nicer understated. Uh, you don't want them to look wooden like George Washington teeth, so uh, it's best to understate them. So we've got our lip line in and I've softened it up toward the top and I don't have a hard edge and that's what I was um, looking for is to get a soft edge. So I'm still using same combination and just getting some color on the lips. And I'm just adding a little bit of Opera Rose over here where they're cooler. And this side of the lip gets lost. And I want to go ahead and paint a little flesh in and around the mustache. Um, and I'm doing a little negative painting here. And so this is the way you want to handle painting a mustache. You have to get the flesh in there and there's some light hairs so you paint around them and look for your lights and darks. And I'm using a number six legend looking for areas that I can get some fleshy color in between the hairs. A lot of times you can see the flesh in between. It's not a solid line. It's just like hair on your head. There's a lot of different variation, lights, darks, shadows, highlights, so it wouldn't be solid. That's a, I uh, see that a lot where um, students try to paint a solid uh, color and 
hair has a lot of different color in it, so you wouldn't want to paint it all one color. And then I could also go over this with a purple. And that's how you would get it to stand out. Now the lower lids also need some flesh and the corners of the eyes. So I'm going to put in some Windsor Yellow. I'm going to drag it up into the uh, horizontally across the lid. And while it's wet, add in the Opera Rose and then soften my edges. And I'm going to go ahead and continue that line on out. If I get enough color, flesh color around the eyes, then I can go ahead and put in the eyes. So what I do to the left side, I need to do over on this side as well. All right. And after painting the crevices, I can see these glasses are kind of tinted, so they're going to be darker in here, so I need to darken the flesh around the eyes. I'm avoiding the glasses painting around the lights of the glasses. There's a nice little lit area here. So I'll paint around that shape. So I need to strengthen the color on the right side as well. It's going to be a little darker on this side because this side of the face is in shadow more. Painting in the shapes and then softening the areas that are lighter. Now after painting the eyes, I can see that the right side of the nose needs to be a little darker. So using my number six, I'm going to add some more flesh to the right side and as well as the right side of the nostril. I want to drag a little bit of the color over on this side. and then soften my edge. Okay, we're gonna stop there and we'll put in some shadows when we come back. 